an honest review from somebody that's actually used the product and is going to tell you the things you want to hear, not the stuff that I know you could just Google about a particular product. Today, these awkward things, these are toe socks. Now, I was a toe sock skeptic, that's a hard one to say, but I kind of decided I was going to go and give it a try because as I was upping my distances, I found myself getting more and more blisters in really the same spots. Now I do rotate through shoes. So anybody that's like, oh, maybe it was a shoe issue. It really wasn't that much of a shoe issue. And I'm a big squirrels, nut butter, body glide, lubrication, even Vaseline. And there was just some troubled spots that I just could not get rid of. And I figured I want to try all of my options. And toe socks were one of those options that I heard from people talking about. Now these ones are from Injinji. They are a very, very popular company. I'm sure you can get them cheaper. I tend to like nice things and I also like to give credit where credit's due and I'm pretty sure they were really one of the first ones to make this toe sock. So let's talk about the things that you may not read about. Number one, the size. I am like a 10 and a half or 11. Now these ones are a medium. So the one thing I will say, if you are going to try these, is I think it's better to go a little bit smaller than a little bit bigger. I've heard people say if you get them a little big, it's kind of like wearing like sandals with like regular socks where like it goes in between, it just feels all bulky and things like that. These are on the lower scale. So I think the medium said up to a 10 and a half. And like I said, I'm right on the cusp of that 10 and a half, 11. If you are on the cusp, I'm gonna say personally, go down in size as opposed to up. The next thing that I was very, very scared of, I was worried about like, what does it feel like between my toes? Is it gonna feel like I have a pair of sandals on? I'll tell you this, from somebody that was very, very skeptical, they were extremely comfortable from the moment I put them on. I was borderline shocked. I, I think I called my wife like, wow, you put them on, there's definitely like, okay, there's something between my toes, but not in an annoying way. To be honest, by the time I laced my shoes up and got out the door, I, I really, I, I stopped thinking about anything really between my toes, okay? So first off, if you're gonna try these out, go a little bit smaller than a little bit bigger, in my opinion. The next thing I didn't think about in the beginning that I want you to think about that you won't read is obviously they are foot dependent. So there is a right foot and there is a left foot. Normal socks, this is not an issue. These socks, it is an issue. And I tend to be like a socks come off and get thrown somewhere near the hamper. I, I lost one for a little while and it pretty much deemed them useless. Now, luckily uh, in January, they were doing a, a buy one, get one. So I actually had another pair and one sock was lost for like two weeks. It was under the hamper. But I didn't realize like, should I gotta be more careful with when I take these off, keeping them together. I also don't put them in the dryer, okay? I don't put them in the dryer. I just wash them and then I hang them. There are two types that I've seen. These ones are like the thicker, I think they're the trail version. And right now in the winter, they've been very, very warm. I have an unopened pack right here that I went for just the performance run lightweight. All right, so I got those for when the temperature uh, kind of warms up a little bit. I have really, really good shoes that as far as like breathability, but I wanted to at least try the lighter option. I haven't tried that yet. But the final thing, if you're on the fence, go for it guys. Um, all my blister issues have pretty much been removed. I, I have not gotten a blister that was worth mentioning. And like I said, training for ultras now, doing weekly 20 mile runs, eight, pretty much anything over 10 miles, which is about 90 minutes for me, I'm putting these on. I do not think that I'll run without them. I now have six pairs of these. So I've bought more pairs since I tried them. I added the lightweights. I think it's worth giving it a go. Even if you're skeptical, I was anti. I'm being completely honest. I was anti trying these. I said, these are gonna be so weird, so uncomfortable between the toes. I used to have a CrossFit. I tried those barefoot shoes that were like this. The socks very, very different. They, they fit my toes nice. They take a little bit of use to getting on. Like you don't pull them up and then adjust them. You kind of get them, find your toes. Like almost like if you have a little tiny kid trying to get their hands in a glove and you're like, just put your damn middle finger in the glove. You know, it's, it's a little of that in the beginning, but now I could do it in the dark 4am before I get out the door. I'm a fan.
And I don't think I'm like an everyday toe sock, like regular guy, but like I said, anything over 90 minutes, I'm going to go for it. Definitely helped my blister issues. Um, I wear good dry fit uh, socks to begin with. So it wasn't a moisture wicking thing. I, I take very, very good care of my feet. Like I said, I just, I, I couldn't get over it. So also too, if you're having like bruised toenail issues, like that was another reason I went with these. They, they stay pretty close to your toe. So if your toenail tends to like click on the end of a sock, that kind of got eliminated. Pretty much all my feet issues have gone away in the last five or six months since I started using these. I've put hundreds and hundreds of miles through them and I'm a believer. I mean, I don't know if I'll always stick with Ninjinji. Maybe I'll try another brand, but these ones work for me. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I hope that did help uh, at least answer some of the weird questions that you might have. I also went with the crew mid length. Uh, these do not slip down. They stay very, very secure to my ankle. So I know that might be an issue that you're thinking about. Will the crew, is it long enough? Will it slip down into the back of my shoe or anything like that? Will it bunch up? None of that. It stayed pretty, pretty tight. I have normal ankles uh, and that hasn't been an issue at all. I am trying out more products, guys, every single day, and we'll be posting more honest reviews about them. If you liked this video and it did help, give the video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing for more reviews. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you have another brand besides Injinji. I would love to know what brand you're using for toe socks. And if you agree with my evaluation, help other people's out inside the community. They don't want to just hear it from me. If you've had a positive or negative experience with toe socks, please leave them down in the comments below so others can read. And I'll check you guys on the next video.